world mac daddy 1911 may one here with the shade tree survivalists i almost forgot to make this video this video was requested by the donor of the hammer or excuse me the thumb safety in the uh 100 year old colt and he was asking me how i had fit it fit it first things first Need to take the main spring housing off, the tang safety out of the way, the uh, leaf spring out of the way, <clears throat> and the hammer out. And then uh, with the sear installed and the disconnect installed, here's your thumb safety right here. Okay? And you're you're gonna push it in, and where it interferes at, you need to you need to use it like a blue marker or something of that nature so you can get a, a pattern on it. Let me see if I can get around here so you can see it. Uh, but that round lug right there, you're wanting to see if it interferes with the sear. This is the uh, sear here. This is the disconnect. That is the lug that uh, on, of the thumb safety. Uh, and you'll wiggle it, and you'll see where it interferes. Okay? You fit one piece at a time. Once you get it to go past the sear, then the next thing is to drop the hammer in. I'll stop the video and we'll see. Well, let's just pause it. Okay, so here's the hammer. And I, I moved the hammer strut up out of the way. Okay. Um, you'll have to have it down in order to get the, uh, the thumb safety back in. I'll put it in. I'll start it in and then I'll show you. Okay, here's the uh, top side of the, I think that's the top side. No, that's the bottom side of the thumb safety. See that shiny edge right there? This is where the, the Smiths there relieved it, okay? All right, and let me see if I can get this thing to focus. And right in here, let me see, you can see where it was banging into the base of the sear. It's got some shiny metal right there. Okay, right there where the pencils made that mark. All right, with the hammer up, you'll, all the way up on the frame, you'll start inserting it. But you'll have to cock it all the way back. And it may not go all the way back with this damn hammer strut there. I'm trying to keep that damn thing out of the way because once you insert the thing in there. Oh my goodness. Trying to do this is a pain in the damn neck, but I was trying to make a quick video because I forgot about, it, about you, buddy. And I didn't want to do that after you or the one donated that part to me. That would have been pretty damn mean. Wiggle, yep, see, and it just clears that that bottom, and uh, with the hammer all the way back, it prevents the sear or anything from moving. And the top lug, let me see if I can turn it around. All right, it's just it's so hard to get in here, but um, right now the hammer is cocked. The thumb safety is applied, and it's blocking the movement of the sear and or the hammer. And um, let's see if I can get an angle over here. That damn, I can't take it off of there because that's pinned, unlike the one on the, uh, the new Colt. So maybe if I'd have thought about that. But yeah, you just, you know, you get it in there, and you, you mark it up, color it up. I would just lightly, lightly, lightly sand it to get the, the, the coating off. And then I would um, just wiggle it back and forth in there. And you'll see where it's interfering. Okay, this is the orientation it'll be. If you rotate it back, you can see that shiny surface right there. Okay. And so this is upside down. Okay. This is correct orientation. So this is upside down. You can see the shiny mark right there. 
and that's the corner you're going to work on and if it interferes at all with the hammer this other corner right here so there's two sharp angles and there's a dip a hollow in between the two those are the two corners but yeah um brother get the book and uh, this will be your most valuable tool besides your your tools you're going to use with it so uh sorry the video so shaky and i can't do any better than that bro um but i'd already wrapped up everything for today and i remembered i told you i was going to do this um one more thing if you got a sticking frame use some metal polish just use a little bit of metal polish and work that slide back and forth wipe it off really clean oil it is what you can have and i think kim was saying it's dinner time so i got to get off here this is mac daddy 1911 one thank you very much for watching